Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video, we created the structure of the door. In this video, we're going to create a screen to fit within the structure of the sliding door. So I'm going to open actually a new family under English Imperial. I want to go with generic. That family is already a door family, so the panel inside can be just generic. So let's go to one of the front elevations. Uh, from the reference level, if we take a look here, the height of the screen is 78. So I want to create a reference plane, RP. And I want to change the units, type UN. Just like the other family, for the length, we're going to change it to inches, three decimal places, then custom add one more zero and the inches symbol here okay now I want to get one dimension di or annotate align dimensions uh, let me see this needs to be from the uh, reference plane so hit tab now click once to here and we're going to define this as a parameter so we can change it easily later so click here and under the label, click here, create parameter. It's going to be the height of the panel. I'm going to go with underline panel as an instance. OK. Now, if we go to the parameters here, uh, we can change the height, which is in this case 78 inches. OK. Uh, also for the width, we're going to need two more reference planes. So RP, one here maybe, one here. I'm going to type DI, get the dimensions here, and make sure to change this to equal. Then we're going to need one more dimension. And this is also going to be a parameter. So click here. This is going to be the width underline the panel as an instance OK and the width is going to be 30 and 3 fourths for the 5 feet is different for 6 and 7 and 8 feet doors and we can go to the family types table and change this to 30.75 which is 30 and 3 fourths of an inch so now we have two parameters also I want to go to reference level I know that the thickness is um, 7 eighths of an inch which is 0.875 so 0.875 divided by 2 is 43.75 so here I want to go with RP reference plane and maybe we can offset this by that number 43.75 so 0.4375 I want to offset it on the two sides Right, so I know this is going to be the thickness. If I get a dimension, now we know that this is 0.875. So let's go back to the front view. Another thing we need to know is that uh, there is an offset 2 inches on 3 sides and 3.5 and from the bottom in the panel and in the screen. So I'm going to actually uh, create more reference plane so RP RP uh, use a two inch offset I want to click here hit a, hit a space so it's going to go to the other side this is the first offset and we're going to need another one here hit a space so a reference plane two inches inside and another one here and in the bottom is going to be three and a half from the bottom. I'm going to click here and draw this. Now, this part is important. We need to type di to get dimensions. And this has to be locked. So if I change the height or the width, these are going to stay as two inches. So I'm going to lock this. And I'm going to also like this one and the one at the bottom there are going to be four liked dimensions okay now if we change height and width 
of the panel, uh, that two and three and a half inches will remain the same. Uh, next, we're going to go to create extrusion and I'm going to draw a rectangle here and I want to lock it all four sides so they're not going to move another one inside and we're also going to lock this one on the inside to the reference levels and we can uh, close this now let's check it in reference level so I want one side to be locked to the top of this thickness so I'm going to move this up and lock it and the other side is going to move down and we're going to lock it so if we see it in 3D now we have uh, the panel you can double check if you change the numbers let's say 150 that 2 inches on the size and 3 on the bottom will remain the same ok I'll go back uh, another thing we need to consider is that we have a void on the bottom which is 0.188 and half an inch here so I want to go to the reference level uh, 0.188 divided by 2 is going to be 0 0.094 so I want to draw two lines here reference planes and maybe I can go with 0 0.094 click here, draw one on one side and another one here so the void is going to actually be limited here I have to move this outside because the void goes all the way to the outside also here and here ok uh, next I can go to maybe the right view that should be a good one and uh, in the right view uh, I want to create a reference plane here so RP uh, and I know that this is going to be half an inch above I can go with DI and I can lock this dimension that's good uh, so now it all looks good I want to create a void extrusion here so go to create void extrusion and we're gonna uh, draw three lines here and for the top we're gonna draw one arc so let's see how it works we need to go to front move this to the side and lock it and move this to the other side and lock it let's see it in 3D now you see there is a cut here so it can be placed in the rail uh, also maybe I can draw a panel here in the middle so I want to go to the front view everything looks good here I can change this to hidden line and I want to go with another extrusion draw a rectangle and uh, for sure we want to lock this so it's going to stay as parametric I'm going to go to the reference level I want to lock this end to this part and this other end to here this is rather a thin um, kind of the panel inside and now we can assign material so here to the screen I want to go to the material I want to create a new one rename it as screen go to the asset browser and I'm gonna type screen uh, we have a stainless uh, screen here I'm gonna go with this one uh, close this it looks good here in graphics you can also change the color so you can follow uh, in your shaded view I'm gonna say ok now if I change this to shaded this is gonna be gray and if I change this to realistic you're gonna see that this is an actual screen ok uh, so this is the screen uh, we can save it as door screen family one backup is good 
and for the panel we can just make a save as so save this file make a save as and this time this is going to be a door panel family which is pretty similar the only thing I want to change in the door panel is actually the height the height of the panel is 78 and 1 8 so it's going to be 78.125 and the width is 30 and 3 16 so I want to go with 30 and 3 16 of an inch so it's 30.1875 that's all good okay another thing I want to change here is that I want to change the material here uh, to glass so this looks good now so this looks good uh, in the next video I'm gonna show you how we can create the three families uh, together how we can combine them together